Hey guys, you catch me just as I'm about to spend some of my hard-earned gold uh, on this leather armor. I don't think we'll be picking any of this up for free anytime soon, so I thought I'd invest in it, because Mage's defense will increase dramatically if we do, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And Mage, of course, shall equip it. There we go. Uh, I've just restocked my supplies with, you know, tons of herbs and... I think we're all about set for our journey to uh, the checkpoint, but I am actually not going to head there straight away like I said I would do, because um, there's a couple of things I want to explore and do this way. Now, you remember, this is actually the direction we came from, and um, I've decided we're going to go have a look see what is this way. So, probably a lot of vanilla enemies that we've seen before, so I won't be showing most of the battles, and uh, I've actually researched what those monsters are that you can see roaming about. They are actually called infamous monsters, and we're actually going to see if we can't find one to fight. Yeah, I think it's called the Short Shooter, and um, you get quite a useful item for beating him. So we're going to go find him, and there's also maybe a chest as well. So that's basically what we're going to do in the first part of this video. So just sit back, relax, take in the scenery, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. So there's a sign here, which we shall read. So yeah, Castle Trodane is this way. <clears throat> and so yeah, I'm just, just going to kill these guys. Right, so, do we go this way, or that way? Well, I'm going to carry on this way. And I have dug out my strategy guide, so I have a little bit of a map now. Which is what actually told me about this infamous monster, and a chest. But yeah, already I can tell that that leather armor is really helping my, uh, my cause. <laughs> right, so if we keep following this path, we should eventually come to a, like, rope bridge. Yeah, as I was saying, we're going to come to a rope bridge that uh, will actually be... Here it is. That won't... Well, we can't actually use it because you'll see it's been destroyed. And you can actually see a chest over there. don't know what this dog's doing. Or is it a dog or is it a cat? What is that? It's a dog, isn't it? Yeah. Nice doggy. And uh, one of those infamous monsters over there. He's probably really powerful. But actually, it's ideal that it's suddenly becoming daytime. Because this dude only appears during the day. So while we wait for him, we're going to head over here and find this chest that uh, should be over here somewhere. So, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of enemies that I'm going to have to cut out of this video, but never mind. Here's the chest. Are we going to get to it without an encounter? Yes, we are. And a pair of boxer shorts. Who the hell would stash a pair of boxer shorts in a chest. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Battlefield days can dry up a man's heart, you know. You mustn't neglect to give yourself some lubrication once in a while. Oh, you mean a drink? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, open up the menu. Let's see what this boxer shorts... I think it's a bit of armor for Yangus. Yeah, unfashionable underpants of the sort often worn by men in their twilight years. Well, that, that's fine for Yangus, then. Perfect. Eight defense. We'll go up to 23. And get those put on. I really hope that they, were, uh, they weren't second-hand boxes. It would have been washed. So, that's that. And this infamous monster should have turned up now. Over here somewhere. And uh, actually, I'm just going to show this fight, because I'm going to run from it. <laughs> Even though you really shouldn't run from enemies that often, but I just can't be bothered with them. Now, he should be over here somewhere. He looks like a little Robin Hood type dude. Um, and actually, you can see in the distance, that is actually Trodane. You see the purple uh, cursed cloud hovering over it? That was once our home. 
Will we eventually go back there, I wonder? Hmm. But anyway, where is this? There he is. Let's get the drop on him. So oh, here he comes. The short shooter. Now this guy isn't that powerful, but he's quite quick. So I'm just gonna psych up. Kabuff. Now what's that gonna do? Oh, defense increase. And we'll both psych up once more, and then I think we'll kill him. Oh, I can smell a roast dinner cooking downstairs. I'm looking forward to that. Bit of chicken, you know, gravy, broccoli, roast potatoes. Yes, I'm going to enjoy that. So yeah, some infamous monsters only appear at certain times of the day. 36 experience, very nice, and we get a copper monster coin. Now those are actually worth quite a bit of gold, so I'm probably going to sell it, but you get them every time you beat an infamous monster, I think. Special monsters, whatever. So uh, that's good. I think they're worth like 200 gold, so that's jolly good. And I think that's about it for this area. Like I say, we can't actually go over there, so yeah. I'll uh, start heading back to Fairbury. In fact, I shall meet you there unless I have a quick look at my map. Is there anything I'm missing? Yeah, this guidebook is a godsend. I'm glad I found it. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I think that's about it. So I'll, I'll meet you back at the crossroads leading to the waterfall cave and the checkpoint. So see you in a second. Okay, so we're back here. Now we mustn't forget to get that guy's tool bag. It's uh, near that red tree, isn't it? So let's go find it, and then we can bring it back to him for our reward. And it's quite a decent reward, I must say, so... In fact, we can just see the tree there. Now, are there any... Ooh. Is that chest... That's a chest over there. Have I actually got that one before? Hang on, let me just have a quick look at the map. I must... Might as well just keep it open. Uh, right then. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. No, we haven't. We haven't got that one, I don't think, so let's go have a look. Unless I'm reading the map wrong, which is entirely possible. Yeah, so most of these guys around here are just going to be no problem for us now. But the closer we get to the checkpoint, the, uh, the harder the enemies are going to start getting. And I'll try and see if I can't uh, research any more infamous monsters that we might want to fight. Because they're always a nice challenge. Ah, it's locked. We must have... Yeah, I must have seen this one. Am I re I'm reading the map completely wrong. Ah, I see. I see. Yep, yep. I know what's in that one. I know what's in that one. Doo -doo. So that was a bit of a waste of time. Sorry about that. I can see a horse over here. We might find a friend for Medea. Even though, you know, she isn't really a horse, I'm sure she could uh, communicate. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I think uh, Yangus is possibly around 100 experience points mark before he levels up, perhaps. And uh, the tree we want is on the left here. So obviously when I do pick this bag up, I won't show me tracking all the way back to his shack, but uh, it's okay. So he said he dropped it right at the base, and I think I can just about see it actually. It's a really nice spot this though. I could definitely imagine just chilling here for a little bit. And we've got his tool bag, and we put it in the bag that we have. So that's good. And there is actually a chest around here, I know for a fact. 
or I, I say that, but actually I'm not 100% sure. Is it over here? Ah, oh, no, it's down here. And inside this chest, I think there's just a bit of gold, but it's always nice to have anyway. 82 gold coins, not too bad. Right, so I'm just going to hightail it back to that guy's shack. And, chaps, well, I'm near the waterfall, so I thought we'd uh, give this guy a go, this infamous monster. Let's see how easy he is to beat. If he is at all. But, uh, I'm a big fan of his name, One Night Stand. <laughs> Sorry, I'm about to cough, actually. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, actually, we're just going to psych up a couple of times. See how much damage this guy actually does to us. Uh, not that bad, actually. I was a bit scared of this chat, but uh, maybe I shouldn't have been. So, I think we shall unleash our attacks on him now. Oh, nice one. Excellent. 28 experience and Yangus has leveled up. Five skill points. So, into axes they go. And uh, his axe skills improve. He learns basic axe fighting techniques. He learns Helm Splitter, so we have our first sort of offensive ability now. And another Copper Monster Coin, so that was good. Let me just have a look at what Helm Splitter actually does. Um, it's not in magic, is it? So how do we... Hmm... How do we see it? Maybe only in battle, perhaps, I don't know. Uh... Ah, here we go. Battle spells. Battle abilities Helm Splitter. A skull splitting smash that lowers an opponent's defense as it inflicts damage. So, yeah. Very nice. Although, I don't think we can use that at the moment because we don't have an axe equipped. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'm just going to climb to the top of the uh, waterfall. So, we're going to hand in that tool bag. And here we go. So, what goodies are we going to get off this guy? Ah, you found it. Let's see. Yep, this is the one. This is definitely my tool bag. Thanks, I suppose I better give you that reward I promised. Yeah. Oh, that little mouse you got there is no normal mouse. He's your pet, is it? Right. Yeah, have this cheese as your reward. What? Cheese? Well, I suppose Munchie's gonna be happy, but, uh... Thanks, man. Plain cheese. Eight pieces. Ah ha ha. Try giving it some next time you got yourself into a fight with some monsters. You never know what might happen. Well, that's interesting. So, this guy has just given us some cheese. And apparently, if you come back to him several times during the game, he can give you different types of cheese that, of course, if we use on Munchie in battle, some interesting things might happen. So... That's jolly good, so I think it's probably best to meet you back at the tree. And uh, actually on my way back, I just decided to fight the um, one night stand again, and Mage has leveled up. So, what are we going to spend these on? Of course we're going to put them into, well, one of them into Courage. And uh, I think then the rest I'll put back in Swords, perhaps? Um. One thing I haven't mentioned, actually, is the boomerang can hit more than one enemy. Uh, but I haven't actually got it, so I can't really show that off. Uh, sword skills improve. He learns basic sword fighting techniques. And uh, his attack power increases by five. Excellent. He has the courage to set forth on his journey as well, and he learns zoom. Excellent. So now we can use that to basically travel to anywhere we've been previously. So we could go back to Fairberry, which is awesome, instead of having to use the uh, Chimera Wings. So that's jolly good. 
So, back at the fork in the road, let's carry on this way. There's actually a chest somewhere nearby, according to me book, so I'll keep an eye out for that. In fact, I think I can see it in the distance. I uh, just smacked my hand on the keyboard then, that was very clever. Now this, I think, was blocked. You couldn't actually go this way if you decided to come here earlier. But now we can. And yeah, that chest is going to be mine very soon. Aha, new enemies fencing foxes. Because that's normal. Okay. Uh, right then. Oh, they're going to they're gonna hit, do some damage. <laughs> yeah. We want to kill these guys quickly. Maybe we can take out one each. Hopefully. So now we're in a new area. Enemies are going to be a lot tougher. He dances in a disturbing way. Shit! You reduced my tension! Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen, buddy. Right then. Uh, well, Mage needs to heal. And Yangus can try and finish off one of these dudes. That just wasn't very nice. Oh, we, they can heal themselves as well. That's fantastic. Alright, at least one of them's dead. I certainly don't like you guys. You suck. Angus, uh... Shit. Keep on forgetting that B isn't cancel. Oh, they do... They do so much damage. I need more defense, that's what I need. Maybe I should have, like, uh, bought some more armor or something, but... I kind of like to wait to see if I can find any, you know, out in the wild somewhere. Save me money. Alright, that's one more dead. Uh, what the hell's happened to Yangus, by the way? Is that, uh... What is that? Whatever it is, I don't like the look of it. Not one bit. Alright, just one left. This was a horrible fight to run into straight away. Uh, let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. Good night, Mr. Fox. Not so fantastic now. 80 experience, holy crap. 64 gold. Well, it was certainly worth, <coughs> worth fighting him. But, um, my god. That was tough. But um, maybe there'll be something really nice in this chest. Slime earrings. Now, they're an accessory. I know that much. But what do they do? Ah, defense plus four. That's exactly what we need, really. I'm going to give that to... Uh, uh, well... I should actually give it to Yangus, but he's already got the bunny tail equipped, unless I want to swap it over. Then again, I do want him with some sort of agil agility. Um, hmm, I'll give it to Mage for now. Oh, in fact, he doesn't have any room, so I'll have to swap out a herb. There we go. Equip it, yes. Like I say, I might end up swapping those around anyway. Um, but that was good. Nice little accessory. Let's continue on to our next destination, wherever that is. Ooh, more new enemies, of course. Uh, what are they? Fungul and Drac Mages. Hmm. I really do wish we had some offensive abilities. Well, Yangus does, but we don't have an axe yet, so... Uh, hopefully we'll get one soon. Don't decrease my defense, I've only just boosted it with an accessory. Oh my god. 
That is not playing fair game. But this area seems quite good for leveling up, so can't really complain too much. There's your right, MP. Right, 31 experience, 26 gold. What's going to be over this hill? In fact, I can just about see the next town slash village or whatever it is. Um, I thought there was an infamous monster around here somewhere, but perhaps I was wrong. Bodkin archers and another fun ghoul. As far, as far as this sort of area goes, there's going to be quite a few more chests to find, but I might save that for later. Because I don't really want to be venturing too far off the path here. The enemies are tough enough. I see a nice windmill in the distance. And to our left is... Well, we'll we're going to find out, aren't we? Very peaceful. It's going in. Uh oh. <laughs> I remember these two. Who goes there? Don't waste your breath, scoundrels. I can spot bandits a mile off. Can you now? This is for Alistair. Come on, Mash. Let's get him. Mash. Can I have a name's yes, that? Sir, bangers. <laughs> bangers and mash. Prepare to meet your maker. So we're gonna try and kill a bunch of kids. Is that it? Okay, let's destroy him. What on earth are you two rascals up to now? Aww. Stop it at once. I wanted to beat the little kids up. Busted. Where are your manners? That's no way to welcome travelers. Ow! That did sound quite painful. Ow! Oh, come on, guys. Didn't Miss Jessica ask you to run an errand for her? And here you are playing around. That's what kids do, isn't it? I forgot. You better run along before Jessica finds out. Oh, I was scared of her. I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. No, I'm sure they didn't. It's and I'm sure I didn't. Our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home. 